Good evening. Good morning. Today, uh, we have a special treat for you guys out there in TV, YouTube land. Uh, we have my friend, partner, co-worker, Tim. Uh, he's uh, going to have a special delight for you guys. So you guys watch and learn, and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, here we go. How's it going? So we found this um, iPad 3 that someone had uh, dropped out of their moving vehicle onto the road. And um, nobody came back for it, so we decided to take a look and see what's inside. Took apart most of the outer part of it, with the inner case here left. It's pretty interesting to see the little tiny connectors and plug, like this little flat connector plugs into uh, parts on the motherboard itself. Amazing, it runs on these, I've already taken one of these apart, but uh, we'll take it apart and show you. This is one of the batteries from inside the iPad 3, one mm -hmm. of three. Took out the LC, the inner display, the touchscreen display, flipped it open to see a mirror surface on the inside but then was amazed to find by peeling out the inner there's one like solid piece of plastic plastic like firm plastic and then has four more inner uh, sheets one of them having a mirror type reflection or two of them having more of a mirror type reflection to them mm -hmm. but when holding them up, you see through them, and it's magnified, but it kind of has, kind of has a different three uh, D effect, three D or whatnot effect to them. They're all stacked together to give. I don't know whether it's for the touch response or whatnot. I'll have to look more into it to find out what these uh, four separate sheets are for. Maybe it's just a part of the really uh, high definition display, mm -hmm. display for the retina, the retina display. Right in the display. Um, this here, this is the motherboard from the inside. This is the A5 processor. I'm not exactly sure to follow, uh, to knowing exactly which part here is the memory or whatnot, but uh, it's pretty interesting to see how small everything is and how everything's gotten. This is what was connected to, um, or this is the camera. This is the uh, back-facing camera that I believe is five megapixels mm -hmm. that attaches to the motherboard by this small connector that plugs into and clamps on like so and just snaps down. And that's how we got it out, just popping that open and unplugged. So. Pretty amazing for how small the actual inner working components are. Here's the speakers for the iPad 2. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure, but it has two or it has six small numbered magnets that are were all, all, along the bottom of the actual uh, iPad itself too, numbered. Uh, one, two, three, and then two, three, four uh, on the actual uh, magnets themselves to either side uh, at the bottom. Not exactly sure what purpose they serve and whatnot, but uh, I'll be interested to find that out myself. But they're pretty strong magnets. So probably rare earth mag magnets or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, so if any of you out there know, just go ahead and comment and let us know what you guys think. So. We were going to, uh, even though it says not to uh, disassemble, disassemble we, just to get an idea and see what these batteries are, are, are made of, decided that we were going to take my little handy Leatherman Wave here, use it every day. Yep, we'll do a review on that one day. Uh, so don't try this at home. Taking the top part we'll, off. We take the risks for you. <laughs> take the top part off here, open it up, see the inside of the iPad battery. Which seems to be from the other one we took apart. It, it's just a long piece of copper foil is the best way I can describe it, 
and it has some other type of uh, chemical in it. But this is, uh, on the outside, this is a lithium ion, I believe, is what it said on the outside. But you obviously can smell the chemical that's inside of it by, by opening this. But these batteries have been completely discharged. It hasn't been plugged in or charged, but here's one of the connectors here. To prevent any risk of explosion, fire, combustion, shock. <laughs> so you can see there the copper. This is the outside wrapping and the protection. Protect the actual battery itself, insulating probably. But just unwraps, unfolds. And that is the internal battery of the iPad 3. Mm -hmm. Opening up further to see more how it's just a piece of copper foil. Here's the other one contact point, and that connected it. It almost smells like nail polish. Nail polish? Yeah. Maybe it's the lithium in it. Or maybe it's the iron that we're smelling. Or lithium iron. See how the copper foil just kind of came apart, but it's crazy to me to see that this is what powers a battery. An iPod, iPad 3 for what, 10? 8, 10 hours? Mm -hmm. You can see the contact there, but. But that's pretty much uh, about it, what we found inside uh, the iPad 3. It's amazing, such little stuff left here is what actually makes up the components of the inside of such a large device. So, cool. Hope you guys enjoyed. I was uh, extremely fascinated by all the things I found by being able to open this up. And uh, thanks for watching. Cool, thank you. And you guys subscribe, comment, and keep in touch. We'll be making more future videos. We'll be doing some some more videos with the uh, survival bracelets, the paracord. We got different videos people. coming up and instructional videos as, as long as in addition to other monkey fists and so forth. So subscribe, comment, and watch out for the new videos to come. Thank you again. Have a good night.